You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend. Okay, folks, again, I'm Bruce Broussard, your host here at the Oregon, Oregon Voters Digest. And uh, again, we've been, we've, been interviewing, we've been interviewing candidates running for president of these United States. And we just happen to be, we've been doing uh, the Libertarian Party, the local chairperson here in the Portland metropolitan area. And uh, there were a couple of things that uh, I was a little, that just sort of came out in the, uh, in the interview. And I just thought it would be a good idea for, to bring the person back to the table he had the Oregon Voters Digest and let him see if he can kind of share his thoughts and maybe, as as Gary said before, just tell the truth tell and apologize, truth. whatever's necessary. But you did use the word. You do, you, you, you use a couple words there, and I'll just be straight up with you. It was kind of a women's kind of word aspect, a woman's mm -hmm. word, a like vagina. And then, yeah, it's so the, that uh, wasn't too, you know what I'm saying? And then you, and you use the other word, which, which shit or something like that. But, but I'm just saying. But my point is that I want to give you the opportunity to react to that. And, I guess I was trying to assume the standpoint of a uh, reductum ad ridiculum argument where you over-agree with a situation to the point where its absurdity becomes uh, perfectly obvious. And what I was trying to get across, I don't care what genitalia our leader has, I do not want a tyrant or someone who is going to trend our nation into tyranny, even a step. Um, but you would respect uh, her in regards to apologizing to that term. Oh, I, I was just, you know, just saying, is, is it really that important? Absolutely. If I offended anybody, I didn't well, mean to offend anybody. I meant to open eyes in the regard of let's look at the serious issues here. Let's know, but elect point, the but, but most my point qualified. Is she's the only, but she's the only woman that's being identified. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Just real quick. Just, just I, apologize. I apologize if anybody uh, took offense to that. Okay. There's, right. there's absolutely that side of the argument. But that's, the other side of that argument is I don't want a tyrannical leader, no matter their gender or sex. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to make sure we got that across. That absolutely. Fair? All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very it. much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend.
I say you that? Welcome that. back, you folks. Remember? Here we're back. We're back, folks. Well, guess what? We're, we're going to get right into the public here for, in Portland, Oregon. Again, I thought I'd bring two people on who has been on the show before and uh, maybe respond to uh, what, what are their feelings about uh, to date, if you will. Uh, about the presidential campaign, candidate, the uh, campaign, the whole nine yard, the candidacy, and and uh, we got two major parties that are that are basically basically going back and forth with one another, and then now we've got uh, two other parties that are being considered to get in the September debate because that's the big day, that is the big day. That's the big and that, day, and that's the enchilada. That's the biggie of it, of it all. Mm -hmm. And so, but um, uh, we, I've had uh, I've had the members. A person from the Libertarian Party yes. here, and then I've had the, the well, I've had the Democratic Party, uh, and Bob Williams, you know Bob, mm -hmm. and then uh, then we had Scott, yes, and Scott, he, he did the Republican Party aspect of it. Haven't had the Green Party yet, but it's and it's my understanding that CNN's going to do a an interview of okay. this lady, right? And I thought that was going to be an interesting piece. They're being considered uh, to be in the September debate. You talking about Joe Stein? Yeah, Joe Stein. Mm -hmm. If if in fact they get fifteen percent, right? The, the committee has, as far as I'm concerned, they should put them in there anyway. They're, but they're both credible, sure. and uh, I think that would have quite an impact mm -hmm. on the debates. Yeah. Because they, the folks are going to have to focus on the issues. Because they, I know for a fact the, the Libertarian Party, the two guys who are running uh, for president and president and vice president. Are, uh, were former governors. Sure. So they've been in the business before. Mm -hmm. And I think Joe Stein, I think she's a, I, I don't know what her background particularly is at I this point. But the bottom line, the position, yeah. yeah. So she's a very articulate lady and yeah. she, and she was, she's an outsider, so to speak. But again, you'd have two women there now mm -hmm. as opposed to one. And, uh, and mm -hmm. so maybe that might generate some, some good stuff, if you will. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what we're going to do is that I want to get your, your comments. You, you saw some of the show's aspect of it. Um, why, don't we, why, why don't we be gentlemen and, and allow Teresa to, to start this session <laughs> off with us two guys, right? Sure. What do you think about the piece? Oh, Let's start off with the Trump piece, and then I want you to comment with the Republican no, Trump, that's the Republican side mm -hmm. and then the Democrat side. Well, I don't support Donald Trump. I won't be okay. vote I won't be voting for Donald Trump. Okay. Um just because And why? What do you think? Well, Donald Trump is completely unsuited for a political life because he's not a politician. Mm -hmm. Um I don't think he's I don't think he's very well um, educated. I don't think he's very intelligent. He just doesn't have the temperament to be a politician. Mm -hmm. He's too impulsive. He's too emotional. He's how he lacks impulse control. And um, he's also too bigoted. Um, mm -hmm. He's made racist comments, sexist comments. He's just, he's he's like an entertainer. He's just mm -hmm. not. Uh, he's just not a politician. Okay. Um, but um, Hillary Clinton is definitely a politician, and she's a lot more skilled in other ways. But then, of course, there's the question of, you know, do people trust her? And mm -hmm. she has um, credibility issues, and you know, she's she's lied about things. So um, I, I'm pretty disappointed in both parties. I think that Jill Stein and um, Bernie and the Green, Sanders, Green Party, and yeah, and well, well Bernie, I had Bernie stayed in the race. I think yeah. that would have been neat to have him in the, yeah. in the yeah. September debate aspect of it. And a lot of people. Th think he should have and that mm -hmm. if he had he would have um, been a little more successful but I think uh, Bernie Sanders and Jill, uh, Jill Stein I think they have a lot of, of integrity um, they're just not Republicans or Democrats it's mm -hmm. still basically a two-party uh, situation in America you what know about the other side? were you familiar with the Libertarian Party candidate those, um, two, those two governors two years. I'm yeah we've talked about that and I don't know enough about them okay. to really make an opinion or and a that's statement the, that, but that's, the, that's the problem see the key is to <laughs> get them in that debate yeah. If they get in the debate, we'll learn yeah. more. They were interviewed, you know what I mean? But yeah, the they definitely CNN, need to be but, in the debate. But that's only a small segment of our mm -hmm. society. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. let's get Don, then we'll have a discussion. Well, what do you think, Don? Mark Twain <laughs> okay. said, if voting did any good, they wouldn't let you do it. <laughs> Say it again one more time. That's a good one. If voting did any good, they wouldn't let you do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm not sure that he's not correct. Hmm. Well, you better so, expand on that. So you know, if, I mean, uh, well, I got Tom looking in the, the mirror got, right now. They got people. <laughs> they got people saying that the whole, whole thing with uh, Bernie Sanders not being included, the whole thing set up and mm -hmm. controlled and rigged. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're seeing? That's mm -hmm. my question. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing honest politics, mm -hmm. or are we seeing what Mark Twain had to say? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make any difference. Is everybody really wanted Bernie Sanders? Right. How come he's not there? Mm -hmm. Because. Voting didn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. Mm. And then uh. the, the Democratic Party, they're being accused of voter fraud. Um, oh. I've been looking at several articles uh, about that, you know, so. <laughs> Does it do any good? I don't know. But now, but well, we still got to go through the process. You got to yeah. go through the process. Go through this process. Now we got these two people. But I mean, why? Well, well, but I'm still going to ask you. No. I'm still, uh, uh, Mark no. Crane Bruce no. is going to ask you. Well, will you mind sharing then your no. feelings about uh, Trump and Hillary? Well, I think Hillary's a crook. Okay. I wouldn't vote for her. Mm -hmm. I'll never get over the fact that she was a Monsanto lawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and Monsanto has been the bane of. of uh, humanity killing people with their pesticides and and their gmo mm -hmm. you know products yeah. that they've foisted on us without letting letting us know what's labeled mm -hmm. in our food mm -hmm. so yeah. they're they're a huge you know they're a huge uh, big mm -hmm. piece of gloom as far mm -hmm. as i'm concerned mm -hmm. yeah. and she supported them so i can never support her okay and what about and i think you? donald trump is what about a moron. you, 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 you <laughs> donald trump is a moron okay i think he's an entertainer uh, I don't think that he's able to do half of the things that he says he can do because Congress won't let him for mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the funny part of it is now there's a lot of these politicians that are terrified he might get some special security briefings and actually might know what's Push going on yeah do you want this guy yes. pushing the button i don't know not, he might, yeah. he might not, not unless it's he a might. request for coffee my, my, my first my first impression when they started talking about that was that they, they yeah. probably showed him one that this is what you yeah. do this he said oh what's this button yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I, just totally, I hate to put it that way yeah. in that way but i mean that's the that's what i got out of yeah. when they first started talking yeah. i said you yeah. be, make sure you don't take that satchel yeah. or whatever yeah in that plane and yeah, start briefing anybody. Them, yeah. anybody. They don't want to give that. Oh money. my God! I, yeah. I just I was concerned, and I'm I'm just the moderator, but uh, but that yeah. that's personally coming from me, and I think a lot, I talked to some of my friends, and they thought the same thing. Do not take that uh, button near this know. guy. But you know, I think the best guy around right now is Putin, and I hate to say it, <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm admiring him. Putin? Oh, gee, yeah. weird. I'm admiring uh, him. Don, Don said he wants to emulate him. Now, yeah, what's well, that all about? You know. Oh, he said, he said Putin should investigate Hillary's email yeah. situation yeah. But or something he's gonna like get that. Good buddies are going to get good buddies. Yeah. They're going yeah. to yeah. get rid of ISIS and this, that, and yeah. the other. Yeah. 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 So Putin, you, you yeah. like Putin? I like Putin. Putin, yeah. is, Putin. Putin is a really uh, tough leader. He's hard not to admire in certain respects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing to remember is he's a Russian leader, and mm -hmm. they're completely different. Mm -hmm. He can do things that an American leader could really not probably do, but yeah. he's hard not to admire. Just um, he's he's a he's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I think I wrote about this uh, on one of my Facebook post, posts the other day about if if the popular vote doesn't really matter. And the final vote is only done by the electoral right, college. Right. So what? Yeah. Th then what's the point of our voting? Right. Yeah. And yeah. you have to go back to well, what happened to Al Gore? Right. Mm -hmm. He got the big popular vote, but he doesn't get to be president. He mm -hmm. was robbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. is that happening all over again? I think so. Well, the thing happened. The same thing happened with Bernie. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's happening yeah. all same over again. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with Bernie Sanders. The same thing with Bernie Sanders. That's why, I, in all due respect, I wish he had a state yeah. in there. You know, and, yeah. and I thought if Bernie mm -hmm. stayed in there. Then you know, well, you know Bernie would. Then all of a sudden, I think Trump would have then said, "Well, I think I better go and listen to the staff over here mm -hmm. with the Republicans, mm -hmm. and they'll tell him just exactly what it's, whatever the issues are. Yeah. But they'll kind of lay it out and please face the monitor, mm -hmm. that type of deal." Yeah, but yeah. you can't throw rocks at Hillary for months, yeah. and then all of a sudden, okay, now it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they said, "Well, the only reason he did that was because he didn't want to get killed accidentally." Yeah. yeah. You know, so, and that's. That's a horrible thing to say, but that might have been in his mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But a lot of things are going on. I mean, he was a very popular guy. I, yeah. I got to admit and still that. is. He still is a very yeah. popular guy. In fact, in fact, uh, he, when he went back to the independent, he's back to the independent. Guy. And I okay. thought it was an issue to start with. You know, the yeah. guy was an independent, and all of a sudden the Democrats just yeah. he ran on the yeah. Democratic ticket. Mm -hmm. And you know, why why was he even entertained the idea mm -hmm. of being being there to debate? her to begin with. I mean, yeah. what was that all about? Hoping yeah. that maybe he could get in, um, when if she wins, he could get in her cabinet or something. Well, why didn't she go on her point? I mean, yeah. She's going to say, give me the vote. Yeah. I think that would have been a better idea than the other people would have been halfway satisfied. Yeah. At yeah. least he got involved in the process, but he was totally out of the race yeah. and became an independent overnight. Yeah. Back to the independent right. aspect of it. So, mm -hmm. so now all of a sudden, you know, like I said, we've got these two other entities that are being promoted now, both yeah. the Green Party mm -hmm. and the Libertarian Party. 
Yeah, and I like had, that. Yeah, that, that's kind of neat. I think I be like great. that because they need to have a voice. There yes. needs to be. Yes, there needs to be another in that voice. discussion. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's where the bulk of the people yeah. are going to be yeah. listening and understanding what's going on. Yeah, and that would put pressure on both of the major parties. Right. Well, and well. they're finally being taken seriously because I mean I can remember 20 years ago people would laugh about the other parties. You know, they just yeah. had, and they're still. I mean, it's still basically a two-party. Yeah. Platform, yeah, yeah, right, right. Know. But there's no delegates votes there, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're not voting on mm-hmm. on the person then. You're just educated. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm just throwing that out there. And I think because yeah. that's what a lot of people I've I talked to. Too. That's basically where where they're coming from. And uh, now uh, that's another that's another issue because the selection committee that will make that determination of basically saying it's 15 percent. But what if they get to be 14 and let's mm-hmm. say 13 percent? Yeah. I mean, as far as I'm saying, they should be allowed. They should be. In, they should. We be need. Anyway, yeah. We we need that. I think in this yeah. just country. They should be allowed anyhow. Yeah. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. <laughs> so what are we going to do, Don? I mean, you know, you've got all the brilliant ideas. You said Mark Twain. <laughs> can you give me another person that you you'd like to that you can uh, give me a one liner and says, okay, Bruce is going to be solved, and I can tell the viewing audience now. No. Uh, behind the badge in River City. <laughs> that's one of them. Can you give me that's that's one line behind yeah. the badge in River City? Well, that's that's well, that's one of the steps that we need to take. Okay. Okay. In starting the process towards <clears throat> changing things. Yes. Right. It's right. changing the way we do police right, work. Right. Right. So, right. Right. But so, yeah, yeah. But, but like to change. I want to go back and then I'm gonna come back. I want to talk yeah. about this anyway. But the, the whole let's go back to this delegate votes aspect of it. Like you're, you're right. I mean, yeah. You know, you, you what can, are we doing? Yeah. I mean, should we should we continue to maintain that, I don't that, think that so. process? I Just don't to, think so. I think the lesser college should have been gone a long time ago. Every mm-hmm. election period, they talk about it. Mm-hmm. And they talk about it. They don't do anything about it. And they don't do anything about it because they're afraid of what the people will say. Mm-hmm. The people might elect somebody that whoever they are don't want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, almost, like, almost like term limits, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. term limits. Well. <laughs> It's kind of mental masturbation, really. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel that we should. think we think we're doing something right. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Wow, wow, right. wow, wow. So where do we go from here? Look like we got solid there all, all of a sudden. Come again. What, what do you think from a woman's perspective? You got the first woman that's running legitimately and well, right at the top of the heap saying, hey, you know, we're going to be at the know, front. All right. the, what do you think about that? The thing about Hillary, it's, it's, it's a difficult situation. If I had to choose between Hillary and Donald Trump, I would vote for Hillary Clinton. Okay. Because Donald Trump is extremely dangerous. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, he's a loose cannon. He's not politician material. He never has been. He's a businessman. He's a narcissist. Um, he's just a, a, a train wreck, mm-hmm. and a lot of people <laughs> believe that he's mentally ill, and I believe that he is too. I mean, he's just, he's not very bright. Um, mm-hmm. He's just not as intelligent um, or as in, insightful as some people would like to believe. But, mm-hmm. you know, Hillary Clinton has done a lot of things in her 40 years of being a politician that are really positive, and she's difficult not to admire in certain respects, and then she's done other things that are just so um, shady, and so it's hard to trust her. Well, she was married to Bill. (laughs) (laughs) Bill Clinton, you know. (laughs) You like Bill. I do. I I voted for Bill both times. I voted for um, Obama both times, too. And, you know, in a lot of respects, um, our country is doing better off now. I mean, we're doing great in a lot of ways. Um, And I, I do like Bill Clinton. I, you know... But, you know, I'm not a politician, so um, I'm sure there are things that yeah. I don't see yeah. and don't understand. But um, I've always liked Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you want to have anything to say about the, well, the Bill, first woman president? Bill Clinton is a very charismatic person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily reflect on his honesty. Okay. But... <laughs> I don't mind having a woman president. I I I would have rather had uh, Madeleine Albright, mm. who was the Secretary of State. Mm-hmm. I think that she had a lot more integrity as a, as coming up the political uh, arena than than Hillary certainly did. Mm-hmm. Hillary's a liar. Mm. Mm. She's playing out a liar. That's what Donald said. She's playing out a liar. That's what Donald said. Donald right. said. Donald said. What, what? She says. She says they landed in this particular place under fire, under sniper fire. Mm-hmm. That was a pure D lie. Mm. <laughs> Look at me, under fire. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Liar. <laughs> but that really puts a lot of pressure on the women, though. You know, I mean, you got two people. Yeah. 
And then I think right. there give are, me a good woman. Give me a give are, me yeah. a Dr. Stein. Yeah. Give me yeah. a yeah. or Jill, Jill, or, Jill Stein. Yeah. You know, yeah. give me a give me a good woman to right. vote for. Right. The, right. the right. thing about a lot of people is don't give me a crook to vote there for. There are a lot of women who are going to vote for her just because she's a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, I I'm not one of those people. Mm -hmm. I mean that's you know that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know if 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 you have two candidates. Hillary Clinton and a, a different male candidate, mm -hmm. you know, and the male candidate is the better candidate, then you should vote for him. You shouldn't vote for a, you know, Hillary Clinton just because she's mm -hmm. going to be yeah. the first woman president. I mean, that's ridiculous. We got about, Gender shouldn't be important. Right. We got about yeah. two minutes left. Let's go to the other side too. You got these two governors. You know, you got this. Okay. The governors well, from I'm Mexico. I'm interested to meet them. Yeah, they them and deal with them. Yeah, they, 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 it's a very interesting piece, yes. and they, they've got their own. And again, I think they would be beautiful, like you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're basically on that same level, if you will, mm -hmm. with Stein. They're all the going to have, all the gonna have to party. deal with uh, deal with the national police problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whoever's president. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's exactly. going to have it's going to have a, a whole deal with the police to deal with. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The culture, exactly. how you do it. And and people need to be educated about mm -hmm. about their own conduct and resisting arrest is is not a smart thing to do right, and it's not right. an option. And too many people think that they mm -hmm. have that right and exactly. they don't. Exactly. You know? mm -hmm. Well, you know, we've been dealing with that. You know, we were dealing yeah. with the last campaign. Yeah. And we did our piece, yeah. in, and as far as I'm concerned, we're gonna get back to the table. Yeah. And I might add to the viewing audience, we're gonna we're gonna open up the line next time. We'll, we'll okay. do. We'll come back at another point in time, and then we'll just come back and we'll open up the line. All right. Uh, maybe either after the September piece, and hopefully we'll get all four of those people. Sure. Uh, if, if, but I think that would be a good opportunity to do that to kind of educate them. Sure. But we mm -hmm. need to help out, help them out because they they need to know what's going on. And right now, not, I'd say 90% of the public don't know what's going on. They're going to yeah. be bombarded yeah. with all kinds of flyers. That's why they're raising all that money. Yeah. You know, yeah. put that stuff in the front of your face and you can lie all you want when, <laughs> during, during the campaign. <laughs> but, once you, yeah. but after the campaign is over, it's over. And then I'll say, well, look, I didn't mean that. I didn't because mean that's, that, yeah. because right. that, but, but I got this flyer that says this. <laughs> right. and, 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 and that's not what they said. And or they're I, on I, video. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so so really, folks, we, we're, we're in a very serious situation right now. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all end up, it's still about the bottom line. Yeah. We all got to eat. <laughs> we all got to eat, and that's what it's all about. Those guys have to eat too, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. I spend more time with the book, but anyway, don't forget this. There's about that's opportunity. Good. Go check out, check out there. Google it. Behind the badge in River City. Don and I have been talking about police work. That's another big, huge issue. It's a huge of. issue. So we're about the end of the show. Again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please get out there and maybe listen to the Green Party next week, and then we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Have a good one. Take care. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Don't stress out because we got the solutions right here. Right here. We're right here. We're going to solve that solution, okay? Again, check out my YouTube. Check out my YouTube and, uh, and the Oregon Voters Digest, and you'll see some other deals. You'll see some background stuff that we've had, and we're carrying, we're carrying both of the videos of both the uh, Libertarian Party and the Green Party. Yeah. Take care. Have a good one. See you next time.